let's go ahead and create a new script for the user i2 so in the rifles folder what we will do we will create a new c sharp script by the name of uz2 you can name this whatever you want but i will make it as simple as it is okay and then click on this second uz and drag and drop the script now open this up and then remove these two functions like that then click on handgun 2 okay and we will just copy all of this code from here one by one like that you can copy it one by one but i will do it whole and paste it right here because the code for the user type 2 will be similar to the handgun 2 so once you have done this you can see as you can see everything is done let's save the script get back to uzi and then right here now instead of the handgun 2 we will make a reference to our uzi2 so let's remove the comment from there double click on this handgun 2 as you can see it selects all of the handgun 2 but if you guys are using some other text editor then maybe this option will not be available to you so for your understanding i will do this one by one okay so simply we will say public user i2 which is this script name okay and then i will now you can name this whatever you want but i will name this as user i2 as well in small words okay now i will copy this and then let's get down right here and we will instead of the handgun 2 we will say user i2 and right here as well then if you scroll down we can paste it right here and then remove that right here as well okay and you will be thinking that where this is going to come from this is from this script of course okay as you can see is moving because the code is same as the handgun 2 okay just the script name is different and the rifle is different as well so do all of that then once you have done that get back to unity click on this uz now it needs the camera so we will simply drag and drop the camera in there then it needs the hand which is basically the rifle holder so drag and drop that as well then it needs the metal effect so let me click on this first uz okay open up the script let's check there it is this is the metal effect so i will simply drag and drop that in there then the ammo out canvas as well and then the muzzle spark so for that in the fire let's drag and drop this muzzle spark in there click on prefab unpack completely and then let's reset the transform if we play it as you can see it is a lot more bigger which is 80 so let's make this as 0 0.5 now if we play it there it is now we will move it in front of the bullet hole of this uz so just move it right there let's play it it is playing on the side of the gun let's set this up correctly move it there then let's play it okay it is now playing correctly as you can see so we will leave it right here okay then click on use it drag and drop this muscle spark in there that is it now if we play the game you will notice that now both of the uses will work Okay, it shows this error which is in the user i1 okay it needs the uz2 we forgot to add that so we can just try and drop that in there and once you do that now let's play the game again and now as you will see there is our player holding both of the rifles 
now if we try to shoot somewhere okay for example that place as you can see we can shoot whatever we want now there is reloading and as you can see the handgun animation looks beautiful on the UZ2 as, as you can see so now it looks good and with this turn I will catch you guys in the next one